Families now walk the streets and sidewalks in White Center, blocked off less than 24 hours ago by crime scene tape. What happened yesterday was horrific, and my heart goes out to those families. I can't even imagine what they're going through. It's impossible for that incident not to at least cross your mind, standing feet away from where it happened, Aaron Knudsen tells me. But for her and her family, that violence will not keep them away from their community. We're not afraid of it, sure. right? Because we don't believe that that is the characteristic in the neighborhood. Instead, the Knutsons say they intentionally came back to town Saturday following the violence. They're trying to support the businesses here in White Center. Today, it was nice to come back and have the streets full of families. Six months ago, Jaja James opened her business, Bizarro Italian Cafe in White Center. She tells me Friday's violence does not change how she feels about that decision. I know that it's scary to see an incident like yesterday, but it doesn't define us at, at all. Instead, she says the community that she has grown to know as a business owner here in White Center is one of support. I love this community. Everyone is super warm. What happened last night isn't representative of the community. Reporting in White Center, AJ Janivel, Q13 News.